Assalamu alaikum. I got a message one time from a person who told me that they want to commit suicide. They said, I've been making dua continuously for over five years to get married to a specific person. However, this person I was interested in, after all these years of making dua, ended up getting engaged to someone else besides me. And therefore, my heart broke, I got depressed, and I'm upset at Allah. I'm going to finish the story inshallah, but first brothers and sisters, let me ask you, how is your satisfaction, your rida, your contentment with Allah? How is your satisfaction with Islam? How is your satisfaction with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Say sallallahu alayhi wasallam if you're satisfied with him. As a Muslim, you need to realize, understand, and remember that everything that happens to you is good for you, even what appears to be bad. As the Prophet وسلم, said, Amazing is the state of the believer. Everything that happens to him or her is good. Allahu Akbar. But sometimes you may not be able to see the good, especially when the matter appears to be bad. From Allah's mercy, He sometimes reveals the good that was in matters that appear to be bad. For example, in Surah Al-Kahf chapter number 18, in the story of Musa السلام, and Al-Khudr, Al-Khudr destroyed a piece from the boat of the fishermen, which caused the boat to start sinking. And due to this action, the fishermen returned home to repair the boat, and therefore they lost a day worth of work. But we know, that had Allah not willed that to happen, then they would have lost their jobs, if not even their lives. So my believing brothers and sisters, be satisfied with what Allah has decreed for you. For He is the All-Wise, Al-Hakim, the All-Knowledgeable, Al-Alim. Be satisfied with your height, satisfied with the shape of your nose, the color of your skin, with a disease you may be diagnosed with, which has no cure. Be satisfied with what He made obligatory and what He made prohibited. Be satisfied, brothers and sisters, with Islam, with its rulings and commands. Be satisfied with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and follow his path. I want to share with you this amazing dua, my dear beloved and sisters, which can be found in a silsila sahiha classified as authentic by Albani. He says that whoever says in the morning when they get up, Raditu, I am satisfied or pleased. Billahi Rabba, with Allah as my Lord. Wabil Islam deena and with Islam as my religion. وَمِنْ مُحَمَّدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم نَبِيَّ And with Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم as a prophet فَأَنَا الزَّعِيمِ Then I am the guarantor I guarantee لَأَخُذَنَّ بِيَدِهِ حَتَّى أُدْخِلُهُ الْجَنَّةِ I will hold their hand until I take them to Jannah Allahu Akbar Can you imagine the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم holding your hands Wallahi that in itself is amazing In addition he will actually take you to Jannah Yes, it's possible, but just be satisfied and say that dua in the morning from the bottom of your heart. Raditu billahi rabba wa bil islami dina wa muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyya. Back to the first story. That person emailed me afterwards and said, I'm grateful to Allah, Allahu Akbar. What changed from you being upset at Allah to you being grateful and satisfied with Allah? The person said, the one they were interested in was just exposed of doing some corrupted and filthy things. Allahu Akbar. And they said word for word, now I know why Allah did not give me this person. Brothers and sisters, do not wait over something which Allah decreed to make sense to you, for you to be satisfied with Allah. Rabbi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyya. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow me and you to remember to say this dua and I ask Allah to grant this person a righteous spouse and to all of you watching this, may Allah grant your righteous spouse, Ameen Rabbil Alameen and may Allah make you satisfied with them. Jazakumullahu khaira. Don't forget to share this video. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.